Experts say recent Summit of America reveals U.S. weakness. A recent Summit of Americas convened by U.S. President Joe Biden intended to provide a forum for resolving past differences and address the growing influence of China in the Caribbean and Latin America. Unfortunately, some experts believe it did neither. Problems arose even before the summit began as who was included and excluded from the event caused friction and diplomatic tension. Specifically, Biden failed to include leaders from the following countries, deeming their leaders autocratic, Cuba, Nicaragua, and Venezuela. In response, high-level leaders of Bolivia, El Salvador, Guatemala, Honduras, and Mexico declined to participate in the event. Accordingly, the Biden administration struggled to salvage participation, seemingly overlooking comments by Brazilian President Jair Bolsonaro who two days before the event spread false claims regarding the legitimacy of the Biden presidency. Experts indicate the guest list controversy reveals a deeper issue, the waning U.S. influence and engagement in Latin America. As a result, while U.S. investment and influence diminishes within the region, China's influence grows. For example, Caribbean and Latin American trade with China rose to $449 billion in 2021 from $18 billion in 2002. This makes China the country with the largest trade relationships with Brazil, Chile, Peru, and Uruguay. At the same time, arms sales by China to 21 countries in the region also increase. Finally, some experts believe the summit only made very small gains addressing problems with immigration and migration. Attending parties did sign a Los Angeles Declaration on Migration which they characterized as a strong agreement fortifying Central and South American economies, thereby preventing immigration waves. However, experts note the declaration does not bind any country, lacks details regarding actual implementation, and requires future negotiation to establish details. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. It helps others find our content. And please visit economics.com for additional news, information, resources, and references.